Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. If you're looking to get into candle making or you've already been into candle making, you need to make your journey as easy as possible. Candle making is very tough with a lot of layers. It might seem easy, but it isn't. However, here are 15 of my favorite Amazon items that make my journey much easier when it comes to making candles and concrete candle jars. Let's go. FYI, these products we're going to discuss are affiliate products. Don't worry, your price is still the same and you won't be charged anything more. You pay nothing for using one of these links. However, if you choose to buy something from one of the links, I'll get a small commission, which will definitely help maintain this channel so I can continue to bring you awesome videos. Let's go. Scale. I actually just upgraded my scale from this little gray scale that has been through a lot to this new dual platform scale. This thing is amazing. It weighs all my heavy concrete mixtures and waxes accurately, and it has a large LED screen so I can read what it says when the lights are on or off. Then, when I want to weigh my fragrance oil, I switch over to the precision scale. The best thing is the smaller scale weighs in 0.01 increments. No more wasting products. Yay! That part is awesome because I love precision. I talk a lot about weighing mixtures on this channel, but when it comes to micrograms, one never knows with a regular scale. Not anymore. This tells me exactly what my fragrance oil weighs. Love it. Thermometer. This little thermometer is great for giving me the temperature of my melted wax. One time I left my wax melter on for an extended period of time and I had powered it up to the red zone on the dial. That's the zone that says danger, danger, danger. Well, when I stuck my thermometer in the wax melter, it measured the temperature of my wax at 326 degrees. Yes, I burned the wax, but this little guy told me, and even though I was upset at myself, I was happy this red thermometer alerted me to my error. Thanks, little red thermometer. Love it. Rubber feet. One of my concerns when I started to create concrete candles was how was the bottom of the vessel going to be? It's not as smooth as the vessel itself and sometimes it's a bit uneven. Now to be fair, I have really solved a lot of those issues with my vibrating machine and my persistence for perfection, but these rubber feet really seal the deal. And aside from covering up some of the imperfection, it protects my quartz countertop or anywhere else I place my candle. These little rubber things seem so unimportant, but they serve such a bigger purpose. Trust me, get some rubber feet for your concrete candle jars. You're gonna love it. Hey, did you see my new Up Vibe neon sign? Daisy Lee from Etsy designed it for me. Don't you just love it? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Thanks, Daisy. Glow Marble Pigment. Anyone who has watched videos on this channel before knows I absolutely love Glow Marble Pigments. Why? Well, I fell in love with them the first time I used their Supper Black Pigment. In fact, that was really the only color I wanted to use, and the vessels turned out awesome. However, what really made me love them even more was when I got a call from Glow Marble myself. One day, I ordered Supper Black Pigment from Glow Marble directly from their site. And then for some strange reason, probably because I'm blonde, I ordered Supper Black Pigment from Amazon, from Glow Marble. Does that make sense? One order through their site, the other order through Amazon, which goes through their site. So late that evening, I get a call from a woman named Bridget, who is a sales rep from Glow Marble. She said, hey, I noticed you ordered Supper Black on our site, and then you ordered it again on Amazon, which is our site. She further explained that all orders go through her and she wanted to make me aware of the possibility of an error. And it wasn't an error, it was because I'm blonde. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Anyway, she was right and I thanked her, but then we got talking and I shared the UpVibe YouTube channel and she loved it and then she said, is there anything I could do to help you out? Let me know. So after some back and forth emails, she gifted me with three different colors for a video I posted on Concrete Alternatives. Each and every color is awesome. I love their products, I really do. However, the most important thing to me, and really it should be for you, is that I love that Bridget looked out for the customer, for me. That was awesome, love it. Wax Melter. If you're just starting out, or even if you've been in the game a while, this bad boy is awesome. One of the reasons I love it so much, besides the price, is that it has a temperature gauge dial on the power cord. Now, FYI, it's not perfect, meaning if I set it at 195 degrees, it won't just go to 195 degrees and stay there. It might run up or down a bit, so you have to be aware. However, 
This gets me in the ballpark of where I want to heat my wax. Lastly, I love that it's small and it fits pretty much anywhere in my studio. In fact, I love it so much, I bought two. Love it. Respirator. Anyone who knows this channel knows I always wear my respirator. In fact, I pretty much promote it every single time I film a video. I always wear my respirator. This is very important. Why? Because I care about your safety and I definitely care about my safety. Concrete, wax, fragrance, oil, soot, and God knows what else is around us candle makers. We need to protect ourselves if we want to do this thing long term. I mean, I wear this thing all the time. Look at this strap. It broke from all the times I put it on my big head. <laughs> Get a respirator. Love it. Amazon silicone mold. If you're a candle maker who uses concrete vessels to house your candles, then you need to get an Amazon silicone mold if you don't already have one or 50. I love, love, love this thing. It's lightweight, it's easy to clean, it's durable, and it makes awesome concrete vessels. I'm not trying to take away from the awesome silicone mold makers in the candle making community, but this bad boy is awesome. The best part is it's inexpensive, and no matter when I need a new one, I just pop on over to Amazon, push buy it now, and wait for it to arrive the next day. Love it. Wick trimmer. I love my wick trimmer. It's so convenient to have as you're trimming your wicks to a quarter of an inch, especially when the wax is nearing the halfway point or lower in your vessel. I just put the wick trimmer in and snip it off. I don't have to stick my hand in and get all waxed up or miss the mark when I'm trimming. There is no confusion as I can see everything that I'm doing. This bad boy gets it done each and every time. Snip, it's off. Love it. Vibrating machine. Now to be fair, you don't really need a vibrating machine if you are just starting out, but not getting one is like buying a bike without inflating the tires. You can ride, but it's not going to be easy nor fun. I just put my silicone mold on top of my vibrating machine, turn it on, let the vibrating suck the contents into the mold, all while it removes any air bubbles trapped inside my mixture. I don't have to tap my silicone mold, I don't have to pick it up and drop it down, and I don't have to worry because my vibrating machine does the work for me. <laughs> Love it. Silicone trivets. The first time I made a candle, I poured my wax into the metal pitcher and then I went to go place the pitcher on the table. And as I was leaning in, I said, oh shoot, where can I put the pitcher? It's got 220 degrees of wax in it and it's metal. I started to panic and then I put it on my concrete floor. Okay, Whew. I solved the problem until I had to pick it up and check the temperature of my wax only to realize I still needed to wait. So I put my pitcher back down on the concrete floor. My back was starting to say, hey, this is only one candle. How the heck are you going to do this all the time? Making candles bending down and putting this down here. My back is not that good. Then the light bulb went off. The silicone trivets. These things are great. They protect your table from the pitcher that the hot wax is in or anywhere else you have to place it. I got four in a pack and it was very inexpensive and I use them all the time when pouring. I love them, but most importantly, my back loves them. Ha <laughs> ha, love it. Apple barrel paint. I have designed many concrete candle jars for this channel and recently I've started using acrylic paint for those designs. I tried a few different brands and thought, okay, they're good, but I fell in love with the apple barrel paint. It goes on nice and thick and absorbs nicely into my concrete. I love the fact that I can buy these larger containers of paint so I don't have to worry about running out. If you love to use acrylic paint, then check out apple barrel paint. See if you like them too, or better yet, Love it. Digital liquid thermometer. Every candle maker needs a digital liquid thermometer. It helps you determine the surface temperature of your candle jar. Remember, a candle jar should never exceed 140 degrees, so checking the temperature during your testing phase is paramount. This bad boy is awesome. It's lightweight, easy to use, and never lets me down. Look, no fever. <laughs> Love it. Heat gun. A heat gun for a candle is like a comb for a head of hair. When you wake up in the morning, you have bed head. Even after a shower, your hair is pretty much at the mercy of a towel. Once you put a comb through it, it's perfection, or at least close to it. A heat gun is somewhat similar. It helps to adjust any imperfections attained during the curing process. Now, to be fair, some waxes don't need a heat gun as much as others. 
My coconut apricot cream wax is pretty much smooth, but sometimes there's bubbles that form or the wax adhesion to my vessel isn't quite perfect. I just turn this bad boy on, zzz, voila. Perfection. Get a heat gun. Love it. Taclon brushes. When I first started to paint my concrete vessels as well as seal them, I was so disappointed in the brush strokes I would see. I tried the sponge brush, a regular bristle brush. I even tried a cloth. Nothing worked until one day I was researching on YouTube and found a YouTuber painter who swore by the Taclon brush. So I picked them up and wow. These things are great. They are so smooth and the bristles stay together for a very long time. The best part is if you use earth safe finishes like I do to seal your vessels, this is the way to go. No lap lines, no brush strokes ever. Love it. Light kit. When I first started the Up Vibe YouTube channel, I used my Westcott spider lights for photography. I have had them for years, so it was convenient. However, even though the Westcott lights are great, they're so bulky and they take up way too much space. And in the beginning, I used to shoot my videos in my kitchen and each time I set up, I had to move the lights to the kitchen and they were such a pain to move around. Then I started to research and voila, found the GVM light kit. Three lightweight lights that go from 2300 Kelvin to 6800 Kelvin. You can dim the lights from 10% bright all the way to 100% and man, they're bright. It came with these stands and barn doors in case you want to direct the light to a specific part on your subject. Now I understand you might not be shooting a YouTube video like I am, but you are definitely photographing your candles and what better way to do it than with a three part light setup. You can set two from the side and set one in the back for a little backlight, which will give your image dimension and depth. Get these lights, sky's the limit with these bad boys, love it. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're gonna help you on your concrete candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching, ciao.